Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a review on the Castle of Lear. Um, it's the third book in the Prithane, the Chronicles of Prithane series. I have a review up on the first book and the second book so go ahead if you haven't checked those out and then come back but or if you're kind of reading the series with me you're kind of going video by video as you go book by book i think that's really cool or maybe you've read the whole series before and you're binging all my reviews with you but i do try to do a review after i finish each book so that is what i'm doing i'm finally sitting down i have a moment and um, to film this review so let me go ahead and do my spiel if you don't know who I am, my name is B. Messy. I am a licensed esthetician as well as a published author of a young adult novel named Red Siren. It's a retelling of The Little Mermaid where Ariel is a little bit more villainous than she is in the Disney movie. So if you're interested in that, I have a link down in the description um, to purchase the novel from Barnes & Noble and Amazon. You can also purchase signed copies in store at Barnes & Noble, so go ahead and check out your local store if you're interested in that. And I also have a link to my website in the description box below as well. So, I do everything from literature, beauty, and lifestyle. So I do cleaning videos, I do makeup tutorials, I do book reviews. I actually am going to be doing a couple blog posts on my website with another author here on YouTube. I believe she's getting into YouTube. So, um, hi if you're watching. <laughs> And so she um, she and I have uh, planned for a blog post and she said that she might want to do a vlog to go along with the blog. So we will be sharing our writing spaces. So I do I do videos like that. I would do I want to do a video on how I'm editing book two and how it's different from book one. So all that kind of stuff with lit literature. So I am also a licensed esthetician. I am a wealth of knowledge. I am always learning and educating myself through various means. So I am currently lear learning about um, gro human growth factors and what they do for the skin. So if you want to know any videos or anything like that, go ahead and leave a comment down below. But I think I've rambled on long enough and let's go ahead and get into the review. So the third book in the uh, Prick Dane Chronicles is The Castle of Lear, which I really, really, really liked the name of. I don't know why, but Lear reminds me of, oh, have you seen the, um, the last unicorn? I believe it's King Lear, so whenever I saw, you know, the castle of Lear, I always think of the last unicorn. It's nothing like that, but anyway. <laughs> um, so this, this, um, book continues on with Taryn and Ilanwi and Gurji and Fluter and all of the characters that we know and love. So it starts out in, I think, the spring or the summer, a couple, I want to say a couple months after the second book. And Elon Wee is leaving to go to the island of Mona. So it's called the Isle of Mona. And there she will learn how to be a princess. We learn that she is betrothed betrothed to the prince of Mona who I'm going to talk about in just a little bit but I I really liked this book I thought it was a fun book um there were some things again like you know you don't always love but that doesn't make it wrong everyone you know maybe I don't like a certain character or something but at the same time you're not gonna like every human that you meet, so why why are you so critical to every you know, some characters are not meant to be as liked, like that's just their character, just as, you know, you meet somebody on the street, you might just not like their personality, but that doesn't make it them a bad person or anything. It just kinda makes them not for you. So the first character we meet is Prince Rune. I believe that's how you say it. Yeah, so it's Prince Rune, and he is very obnoxious, but he's so sweet. He's like a cute character, he kind of gets in the way a little bit, but he has a big heart, 
and I ended up actually really liking Prince Ruin. He reminded me a little bit of the character in the Black Cauldron who I despised and I just I was like oh my gosh another kid who is a pompous you know he's commanding everybody on the ship he's not as smart as the other character or whatever but it just kind of made me go because I didn't want a carbon copy of that character but thankfully it was kind of the opposite it was kind of like the opposite character of the one that I despised doesn't make him my favorite but he was he he's just very immature he's very much a child and that's not necessarily a bad thing again this is a children's book so what I really liked about it was all of how all the characters came into this you know it starts out with just Ilanwi and Taryn and Taryn is kind of finding out he has feelings for Ilanwi and he's dealing with them and he has to be noble and he has to be kind of a grown up once again and he has to kind of be really mature and say you know what I might have feelings for her but I can't she's betrothed I can't do anything about it I'm an assistant pig keeper she's a princess I have no power uh, that was a big theme in this book and I really really appreciated that I think I think Taryn is very mature I don't think he is I think I think definitely it's it's the author trying to teach children how to be mature in situations which I I think is a great thing but I don't think children are that mature if they are that's awesome but and that's not a bad thing it's not a bad thing but um I've noticed a theme with every book is Taryn has to mature a little bit Taryn has a lesson to learn and definitely the main focus with him growing this this time was him letting his kind of his duty um, take over his feelings for a long way, his romantic feelings. You know, he I think he almost says something to a long way about it, but I don't know. I just really liked it. Um, how the characters come in was so fun. It kind of I liked the mystery of this book. There wasn't. It was kind of more of an adventure book. It was definitely you know it's not like a quest. Of, of sorts. I mean, there is a, you know, they're trying to find Ilanwi, but because Ilanwi gets uh, cursed in this spell, and so they have to go save her. And I mean, that is, I guess, people will say, you know, that's not very feminist, but I think there's a lot of feminist characters in this, including Ilanwi. So I don't think it's, I don't think it's sexist. I just, I mean, she's a kid and any any kid could be fooled but anyway so I um I really liked how you get on the island and all of a sudden you see all the characters from last time you know some are hidden some are in disguise and it's kind of like why are we all here it's kind of like an Agatha Christie you know and then there were none why were we all called here <laughs> So I thought it was, I loved how that came, came into play. I liked how much trust Prince Adion, Adion, um, put with in Taryn. I really, really, pre I, I loved how Taryn kind of became his Padawan almost, his kind of buddy. He, he really, it wasn't, it wasn't really about proving his worth, Taryn. It wasn't about, you know, an ego, it wasn't, it was just about helping his friends in whatever means necessary. He, he makes a pact with the king of Mona, saying he will protect his son because his son is a little bit aloof and he, he, he's very sheltered and he keeps good on that promise and he, he really, I really appreciated that. I think that was such a good, kind thing that Taryn to do and I think that just, tells you a lot about his character and I really liked how things in the first book came back in this book I love it when authors do that I mean it wasn't even from one book to another book it was you know three books apart the author brought in all this lore and this book and this magic and this there's only it's just it was very intricate and very specific and very unique 
and I really, really appreciated it. Something I didn't really understand was the castle of Lear. It basically was like destroyed and so they were basically like sitting on ruins I believe. I didn't really understand that part because some of it's still together, some of it's not. I don't really understand why they were staying at the castle other than it was attached to Ulanwi and maybe the book would be there but I, I it was very interesting to see that but hmm and I really liked the character of Arch Archwin Archwin the witch from book one Akron Akron came back and I really liked her character I just there was so much sneaking and there was so much spying and there was it was just a fun book to read there was fun mythical characters and there was I just I thought it was fun I thought it was a fun book I had a lot of fun reading it but I was disappointed Ilan we wasn't as in it as she was in the past but nonetheless I think I still have fun we still had the main characters we still you know had fun so I, I'm gonna give it a four out of five stars. Definitely a four out of five. I'm excited to read Terran the Wanderer. I have high hopes for that. Um, I know Elon Wayne's not in that, but maybe she comes back in the next one. I know there's only two more books in the series, technically three. So I'm excited to continue on with my journey with the uh, Chronicles of Prith Day. Tell me in the comments what who your favorite new character was. If you had a favorite like passage or like parts of the book that you liked and let me know if you what book in the series is your favorite I think I would have to go with number one as of right now in the, the book of three I think will always be my favorite but I'm excited for book four and with that, I will go ahead and go. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I hope this brought a little bit of light and happiness to you. And if you want to see any video in the near future, whether it be beauty, fashion, organization, anything like that, please let me know in the comments down below or DM me on social media. All the links are down in the description box, and I will see you guys later. Bye!